Oh my god, there's a ton of them. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't I didn't anticipate this. I'm out in the ocean. This is my worst nightmare. Who's taking a canoe out this far into the ocean anyway? Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay, I didn't anticipate that. The Kraken. Waking up on the shore with, yep, all the broken ships. You know, I definitely could have seen that coming. Wow, this game's pretty. Holy crap. Unreal Engine game. Welcome to If Sunsets, a fantasy pirate survival game. That's a very big skeleton. Holy crap. Look at me. Look at skeleton. Look at me. Look at skeleton. Holy crap. Open container. Okay. I have been uh, just about waiting my entire lifetime for a decent pirate survival game. I thought Skull and Bones would do it, but that's just a boat simulator thing. I, I mean, oh, don't drink. Why are we just We're just drinking dirty salt water. Okay. Yeah, I thought Skull and Bones would do it, but clearly that's not going to happen. So we're here checking out If Sunsets, and uh, let's see what it's all about. This is a demo, early access, a lot of things subject to change. And it looks like it's going to have some level of, like, cannibal monsters. Kind of like the forest, but piratey. So, like, in uh, in Pirates of the Caribbean. This is Pirates of the Caribbean Survival. That's what this is. We have some oil, jars, cloth, pot, beef jerky, some hand grenades. That's all I really need. Just give me some beef jerky and some hand grenades, and I am a happy camper. I'm going to go ahead and talk to this uh, Bolivia, a, a fairy. Hello. Indeed, there is a powerful curse on this island, a contained in the form of a stone transforming living beings into monsters. How do we lift the curse, you say? I hadn't considered that. You seem quite courageous. There might be a source of a curse on the island. If you destroy it, the curse may naturally lift. You managed to break the curse. I should be able to leave this place as well. I'll assist you. All right. I look forward to working together. Curse monsters flock this island at night. It would be a good idea to gather resources during the day for the night. You can craft a mallet. Construction repair buildings. Roll by pressing the alt key. Ooh, I like that kind of roll, but that's very unnatural. <laughs> okay. So if we press I, we have our inventory, and there's a crafting menu. Well, it's very, very stranded deep-esque. Okay. And it looks like, is that a coffin right there where the thing woke up? Okay, I'm scared. Can I go out to the ship? Ooh. There's an old Kraken noodle. All up on top of that. I want to fry that up and make some Kraken Calamari. That'd be yummy. But also, I don't want to go anywhere near it. Fill water? Yep. Okay. We're just going to drink seawater now. Polluted water. Probably going to have to boil that for a year and a half. If there are items you can't make, try to help from other survivors. Oh, there's merchants and stuff on the island as well. That's cool. And is this like a little lookout post? Okay. So, to craft a mallet, that's what it wants us to do first, we need four sticks. So, let's look around for some sticks, shall we? Boop. Altars a legacy of ancient shrines. There are contaminated beatings roaming the island during the day. They be dangerous at night. Okay. All right, offer a stone. Okay, to activate the altar, you need ten stones. Oh, okay, so that'll cleanse the area. But I only have one. Oh, no, I have two stones. I need ten. All right, that's a big-ass mushroom. I'll take that. Going into the forest for the first time. Ooh, there's like a large bundle of sticks. Oh, nice. And we have XP as well. I'm noticing. You can make a club out of wood. It would probably be good to kill an animal. Yeah, I think it would be. But I want to make a mallet first. Three second craft time on that. And then we have a mallet. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, and then I can right click and we can place down floors, walls, ceiling, stairs. And there's components all the way until... The Cthuga stone, so that's awesome. Gold, iron, stone, wood, and palm. Bunch of different types of building. That's nice. And we can turn off the fairy and turn her back on, depending on if it's uh, making us go cross-eyed. Let's just go a little deeper, see if there's more sticks, explore the island a little bit. Looks like we have a couple of crates in here. Nice, never mind, it's empty. This game is absolutely stunning. Probably one of the prettiest survival games I've played in a while, and it's running. Oh. Oh, God. No, 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 please. Please, no. I don't have anything to fight you with, dude. Truce. Truce. Oh, my God, I didn't mean to right-click. Ah. 
Okay. Oh my god. I reached the edge of its of its area. I cannot go in there until I am clearly ready to fight a giant boar. So let's gather a few more things on the island, shall we? That action music was nice, though. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much. I never expect a lot when I go into these uh, Unreal Engine demos, but so far, oh my god, it's pretty. And like I said, I've been hunting for a pirate survival game for quite some time, so I'm excited. Ooh, some pants. Boop. And then the pants have armor, max energy, max HP, which is a lot better than what I had before. We got some standing torches that we can place down. Mango juice. We, of course, have food, water, health, bottom left. Okay. We're getting into it. Wow. Okay. I'm actually really excited now. Here we go. Whole bunch of wood. Another ship with a Kraken leg on it. And then it looks like we need some fiber. So a bush of some kind, maybe? Come here, Krabby. <clears throat> oh, I hit him 2.9. So we have, like, MMO-style damage, it seems like. Ugh. Gotcha. Open container. He dropped a container with crab meat in it. Nice. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I found a pistol. A pistol just washed up on the shore. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at that. A little over-the-shoulder musket action. We only have one shot in it, though. I'll use that to take out the boar. As for fibers, is this going to give us fibers? Yes, it is. It's going to give us yellow flowers and fibers. All right, but a bing, but a boom. Lovely. And then we can go in here and we can make our stone hatchet. Boop. Our stone pickaxe. Now we have all of our crafting materials. And it looks like an Indian axe, Indian pickaxe, and a fishing rod. And here we can go for a wooden club or a wooden spear. And then there's arrows, crude bow. I need a better workbench in order to craft some higher tier items. Bunch of cloth armor, extra bag space. Okay. Hemostatic bandages with more palms. And a few other things. I don't know if there's going to be, like, bleed mechanics, but if there is, I think I'm going to make sure I need to get a bandage going before we go fight that boar. We also needed another yellow flower, which we just acquired. So beautiful. And we leveled up. Distribute my skill points. Skill tree. Ooh, power, agility, transition, intelligence. Martial artist. Agility. Aquaman. Blood tank. Damage from bleeding reduced. So yes, we definitely need to craft some bandages. And then we have all of these skill trees. Cthulhu stones fishing. Ooh, bow, crossbow, pistol, polearm, spear. Nice. Combat and life attributes. And then see, I have the, my actual skill points for my character. We can do health, stam. And then we have one skill point, but I'm not really sure. Let's just go with solid body. Go with a little bit of power at first. There we go. Look, palm, palm leaf fell down. Lovely. And there goes the tree. Gather all the wood. Let's just get a few more trees going. Ooh, look at the chunks coming out of the tree. I like that. I like that a whole bunch. All right, palm leaves. And then we go in here, as I mentioned. Game is also multiplayer. Not currently multiplayer, though. Oh, for hemostatic bandages, we need some of these red berries. Okay. Well, I'm going to drink one of these mango drinks. Okay. I just scarfed it down. I'll take it. And then I guess let's make a weapon and fight the boar. Um, a wooden club's probably our best bet here. I'm going to try shooting it as well. That'll get us some meat so we can eat dinner tonight. Ah. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. Oh, berries are right here. Look at that. One. Two berries. Nice. Okay. Hemostatic bandage crafted, so that way if we start bleeding from this boar fight, we'll be able to heal ourselves. All right, Mr. Boar. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow the Third. It's time to meet you, Maker. Where are you? Oh, okay. That... <laughs> well, I was anticlimactic, but that's exactly what I needed it to do. Oh, is there another one? There's another one. going to keep kind of dodge rolling him. Okay. He's not the smartest piggy. Nice. 
And there we go. Okay. Well, I guess it is the first enemy in the game. Could you really anticipate it uh, being the strongest thing on planet Earth? I don't think so. But look at this build spot. There's another boar right there, but this is fresh water, stone sticks, some supplies. This is a really nice spot to set up our base. All we have to do is set up a wall there and a wall there, and we're pretty much defended from the things that attack us at night because the game told us that there were things that attack us at night. So nice, and we got six stones. Yeah, okay, we're living here. This is going to be perfect. So I can pull out the mallet, and then is this where I build... Oh, oh, I hear a boar. Is he getting closer? All right, let's just take this out before he, like, runs up on us. When we're in the middle of building. Okay. And it looks like there's crits. Yeah, because I put a 9.9 .9 there. Nice. Okay. Am I hitting my little fairy guy? I think I'm hitting my fairy guy on accident. I'm going to put him away. Okay, nice. Leather, bones, and boar meat. Let me just see what's around the corner real quick. Maybe there's a cooler location to build. Ooh. Like an old pirate settlement. A little bit of parkour right there to get up. I'm going to do that. Maybe we'll find some more ammo for the pistol. You can make various things from fabric. If possible, why not make a bed right away? It's probably a good idea, yeah. Got some more pirate doubloons. I am after the booty. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, please. All right, we took a little bit of fall damage. Oh, there's actual vaulting animations already? Nice. We like that. Oh, my God. There's actually a treasure chest right here. Oh, my God. I swear to God, if this has, like, five gold coins in it, I'm going to be mad. 58. Okay, that's not bad. And a repair kit. Um, wow, we already need a chest. And what is this? A repair kit advance. Repair the durability of an item. That might be really good for the pistol. Wait, this keeps going up? Oh, we got a little bird's nest right here that I can't collect because my inventory's full. Another bird's nest. Ooh, wait, I thought I found a better building spot before, but look at it up here. This game is stunning, and I'm very excited to play it. There's a couple of tents over there. Oh my gosh, this might be more than one episode, which is unheard of. Okay, let's get the workbench down and set up a base. Basic workbench, crafts, there we go. There we go, basic workbench complete. Drag that down, and then I'm going to put the basic workbench wherever it'll let me. Um, let's, boop, there we go. All right, basic workbench, and that's going to give us the fishing rod, which we could actually start fishing right here for food. We have cloth for better armor. Another bag actually would be the best here, but I need another piece of leather for that. So we need to kill one more boar. And for a chest, we need four planks. Where can we make planks? Right here. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Craft the chest. And then we have some spike walls here that we should put on either side for when we get attacked at night. Oh, and look, you can just place stuff kind of freely. So if we had tables, we could put chests on the tables and things like that. There we go. Nice. Uh, sanding torches. I could just slap those down now. So we have a little bit of light when night comes around. We need feathers for these upgraded axes, which I, I think I found some feathers in those bird's nests. There's a big club using planks, a crude bow. You don't mind if I do. And then to build a better workbench, it said we needed to use our club. And then we press upgrade, and then required upgrade is 10 leather. 15 flint and 10 planks. So we need to hunt quite a few boars to upgrade our workbench to get the next tier in items. Then we have the bow, so we'll make some arrows. All right, got 10 of them. And then let's give it a little practice shot. Let's see if we can pick them up after two. Nope, it went through that barrel. Oh, but we can pick them up. Okay, nice. All right, so we need some feathers for the upgrades on our items. We need to hunt a few more boar. And then there's ground spikes, vine traps. Ooh, so there's some base defense building items. A building plan to build a house. There's a campfire and a bed. It did say that we needed to build a bed. And then in order for a campfire, we need a little bit more stone. I like the way the rock crumbles. Let's get a little bit of jerky in me. 
jerky reduces our water, but that's fine. We're sitting on a fresh water source. I also have this mango drink that'll fill us up. Here we go. Bed complete. And a campfire. Uh, I think I'm just sleeping on the ground for now. Right there. Nice. Text input your bed name. Home. Nice. Then we can save and sleep here. And we got ourselves our campfire. I'm just going to put right there. We can open that up. Cooking list and fuel. Uh, cooking list. And then fuel. We can maybe just go with, like, some stickies. And look at that. The little piece of meat sitting at the campfire. And you just pull it right off the stick. Wow. I appreciate that. It cooks pretty quick, actually. And then you put multiple sticks around the campfire. And then the meat physically changes at the campfire for you. Wow. I say it a lot and I say it often. I like the little things. And that is an enjoyable little thing right there. Would you just look at it? Nice. All right, so now we have some food for our adventure. Uh, let's fill up some water bottles. And I'm pretty sure this should be fresh, right? No, it still says it's polluted. Do we boil it at a fire? Yep, that's exactly what we do. We just throw the glass jars on the fire and let them boil. I mean, it makes sense to me. But like, not entirely. <laughs> but you know, it works, that's cool. Nice and quick, too. We don't have to sit around forever. All right, so we have lunch. We have some hand grenades. And we have a bandage, so I'm ready to adventure. Let's go. I need some of those feathers that I found. And we need to hunt a few more boar. The sun is setting craft weapons and set traps quickly. The nights in the island can be extremely dangerous. Really? Just like that? It's 3 p.m. How is night coming? This has got to be a tropical island closer to the equator. Nighttime should be at like 8 p.m. Not three. What the hell? All right, we got a bird's nest here, which I can't loot, actually. Am I able to loot the other one? No, I can't. Huh. So maybe I need to actually physically shoot birds out of the sky for feathers. All right. Let's just keep moving a little bit. I don't think... I mean, nighttime, they're probably just warning me. I'm not too worried about it. Um, that looks man-made. I don't know if there's crocodiles. I mean, there's krakens, so... It would make sense if there's crocodiles or some other evil stuff. This is a really good build spot, too, though. A little natural barrier. Fresh water right here. And then I saw there was, like, some camps over here or some tents or something. Maybe they'll have some goodies or some bullets for me for tonight so I could defend myself. Go up this tree? I mean, there's the tents right there. So never mind. Let me actually go down there. And it looks like we're in like another area just because the ambient sound has changed. I don't hear the ocean anymore. Which means we're in a new zone. Ooh, we got some bottles. Ooh, another piggy? Where? I heard him. I heard the piggy. Hey, Mr. Piggy, I have a bow now. Oh, that's not a piggy. That's an elk. Hit it once. Twice. And it got stuck. Lovely. Nice. Level up off the elk. We're eating elk tonight. Oh, just leather and bones. Never mind. There's no meat on that entire elk. <laughs> okay. It's a skinny elk. It's a... Uh, he, was, he was doing keto. Got some glass off of those bottles there. That's nice. I wonder if these things respawn. Because we could just come here regularly for grass. And what's this giving us? Fiber and palm leaves and branches. Wow, that's actually really nice. And then what's in this little campsite here? Maybe it looks like more glass or something? No, nothing at all, actually. Hello, DoorDash Delivery Chinese food. Uh, I got lost. Powerful beings scattered throughout the island. Surely what was guarding is related to the origin of the curse. Saw one in a cave. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spooky cave. Spooky caves filled with scaly bellies. I gotta go in. There's no way we don't go in. Um, I do have a torch. Oh. That's not good. Hello? Hello? 
Anybody home? Are they only? Do they literally? Oh, actually, I just, I just pooped myself. He just came out of the ground. A daywalker survivor. So he, he's out during the day. He's a daywalker. He's a day man. Ooh. Oh, kill him. We'll just keep kiting him with the bow, I guess. Oh, he blocked that. All right, we're out of arrows. Little dodge roll action. Oh, almost ran out of stamina there. And see ya. I think she's doing sweeps and doing damage for me. Okay. So he didn't really drop anything. I don't know if there's a chance that they drop something. But maybe he was just defending something in here. Like some treasure or something. So I feel like this would be like an earlier cave in the game. So I wouldn't expect them to like fill this with enemies, right? Right? That's creepy up there. I'm going to go this way. Oh my god, it's just as creepy in here. I, I'm never going to get used to that, by the way. That's going to scare me every single time. There's two of them. Oh god. Um, I'm just going to go up here. Ignore me. Goodbye. Oh, parkour for treasure. Parkour treasure. Treasure parkour. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That's a wobbly little guy right there. Can't go that way. Let's go this way. Couple of containers here. I wonder if they can jump in parkour as well. I hope not. And, oh, nice. Okay, is that a blueprint or something? Items have been added to your collection. It was a blueprint. I didn't see what kind of blueprint, but it is a blueprint. We got more of those Cthulhu stones that the game was telling us about. But this is really cool. Wow. A little explorable dungeon. I'm just going to let them do whatever the heck they're doing over there. I think they're like having a little party. I'm going to let them do that because I already got what I needed. See ya. Okay. So we're going to need some stronger weapons for that. And the sun is still up. Crazy. It's almost like it's only 4 p.m. All right, we got more boar in here. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we need. What is that guy? Is that the king? King boar? I don't like that. But I'm going to take this one out. Oh, that, that literally is like a king boar. His eyes are red, like an alpha boar or something. Okay, my stam is really bad. I know exactly what I'm leveling up in next because, wow, is that horrible. Um, yeah, I don't think I can face the alpha boar. We're going to go up in stamina quite a bit. Um, but we know where he is on the map right here. Abandoned grassland swamp historical site. Okay, so they're actually telling me where some things are. There's also a swamp up in the other region. Good to know, good to know. All right, so I need to go home. We need to set up some traps for tonight because uh, I'm going to have to hit some trees. Surely I'm going to have to hit some trees. But boy, am I excited to play a bunch of this and i kind of appreciate that there's no timer on the demo there's something about staring at a timer all the time that just like stresses me out man you know it's like not cool bro Ooh, treasure you know what is cool treasure Ooh, another elk is he stuck because i don't have any arrows Okay, so yeah, the little the little fairy actually deals damage for me. You see that? It's like circles around you and smacks it. That's nice. Honestly, it'd be kind of funny and cool. Oh my god. I I okay, wrong part of town. Wrong part of town. I thought it was going the right way. I guess I wasn't. Oh, those are thorns. Ow. No, no. Oh wait, they ran through the thorns too. Maybe I could just keep kiting them through the thorns. Okay, how am I this lost? No, 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 no. Please, leave me alone. <laughs> no, no, that thing's going to one-shot me. Oh, that's the worst sound I've ever heard. Please, 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 please. Ow. Okay, wait, no, we're good. Okay, snakes. Lovely. Yep, awesome. Snakes. That's, that's what I wanted. I wanted snakes tickling my toes, for sure. Um... Okay, how do I, how do I, where did I spawn? Right here? Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I accidentally, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I climbed up. 
This is where I climbed up. My house is just down here to the right. Oh, I didn't realize I was, like, right above where my house is. Okay. Oof. All right. We made it home. Kind of in one piece. I took a lot of fall damage and stuff there and got chased down by the craziest looking boar ever. But all is good now. We gather wood. We set up our little traps on this side and on that side. All right, then we can go to the workbench. And right here we have ground spikes out of planks and spike walls. I'm going to make like a couple of those. We're going to need a lot more wood. I wonder if bamboo trees drop bamboo. Nope, they just drop wood and palm leaves. Okay, well, you know. It would have been a lot to code in bamboo stuff as well, like green hell, I suppose. All right, there we go. We got one spike wall ready to go. I'm going to do two more spike walls. And then we need to work on a few planks. Because those will allow us to do spike traps. All right, and then how do these walls place down? I want to be able to leave out this side. So maybe we do like a little bit of a V formation. Like put one there. I mean, that... Definitely isn't going to really work that properly, but it is what it is. And then we'll put, like, another one kind of pointing that direction. So they either have to funnel or get poked. You know what I mean? One or the other. Can I get poked by it? Let's see. Oh, yep. We can get poked by it. Okay. And I'm bleeding now. Well, okay. You know, alpha testing. Alpha testing. Okay. That's what I was doing. And I'm currently bleeding. Where did my bandage go? I thought I had a bandage. Looks like I need to make another one. Another bandage inbound. There we go. I just I just ate the bandage. Okay. You know, it is what it is. Uh take all. Uh something tells me that this side is gonna take a lot to block off. We're gonna put one here. I'm going to put one here, and then maybe like a regular trap right there. I don't think they can come from anywhere else. Is this another exit? No. Unless they climb or something, we should be kind of okay, right? I'm going to eat this meat, drink this water real quick, just try to get my HP back up. And then we need to hit a few more trees. Maybe I started this a little late. I guess we'll see what happens, right? All right, some more planks. There we go. And then, actually, we can already make one ground spike. It's going to take 30 seconds to craft, but that's fine. I wonder if the ground spikes will go off when I step on them. Are they like punji sticks? They're just there? Or is this going to be like something that shoots up and stabs their toes? We could also make a few arrows. That would probably help. With stones and sticks. There we go. We got some planks and the floor traps. I'm going to go right here. Ah, okay. They're just kind of automatic little pokey sticks on the ground. I can kind of maybe walk around these or I could just deconstruct them in the morning. But that should be good. Um, I kind of... Can I move these torches or could I just make more of them? Because I need some light at the entrances. Standing torch with a bottle and some cloth. I can do that. Bottle. Nope, right there. I'm just blind. Blind, blind, blind. And I think, unfortunately, I, I might be running out of trees inside my base. I wonder if they respawn or not. That would be rather nice. And it actually looks like the trees have a chance at dropping feathers, which is the item to make the better axes and stuff. So we gotta keep an eye out for more of those. Two more standing torches, one at each entrance, just to light it up. The night is coming after you. Oh, gosh. Come on, torch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. What? They just spawn on top of me? Oh, my God. I didn't know that. Oh, my God. There's a ton of them. Oh, my God. 
Holy Jesus. Okay, uh... Oh my god. Oh, I didn't... I didn't anticipate this. I just didn't. I didn't anticipate there to be 40 of them. I also didn't think they would spawn inside my house. I thought they would... Oh my god, I thought they would... Holy Jesus. Um... Okay, these ones are over here are dying to my traps. So maybe we could just kite them to the traps. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. All's good. All is good. Don't worry. Don't panic. No picnic. What I'm going to do is maybe just stand over here. See if their AI will just run into the trap. Oh, wait, the trap doesn't have spikes on that side. Oh, don't get trapped. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck a did. No stuck a did. Okay, now this is the play. You ready? I'm going to jump this. Burn you. Okay. They have swords and everything. Oh, they have like some knockback. Oh my god. They're just climbing the rocks. Oh, sweet Jesus. All right. Ugh. Okay. They're pretty weak. They're pretty weak though. I can just headshot one at a time. They're weak for now. But I also did not anticipate them to spawn inside my house. So... I guess the way we do this is kind of like a horde base, like in Seven Days to Die. Or maybe I just have a spot where I'm inside a square of traps. There we go. Okay, nice. The knockback. Lovely. Uh, uh, okay. Do they drop stuff? Ooh, Cthulhu stones. I needed like 10 of these or something to upgrade something and put them in an altar. So that's nice. There's a couple more just dying over here. looks like they're stuck on the rocks. Tons of stones over here. Hi, dudes. I mean, they're not like always walking on my traps. It seems like they have a good idea of where they need to be. There we go. And get you. And then... There we go. Okay. Oh, hi. The AI needs a little work, but... That was still... Scary and exciting all at the same time. There's something about games that look this pretty... That they, like, spook me a bit more. You know what I mean? You get so immersed in it. And then when something pops up and... Goes... <laughs> at you, you just kind of get a little spooked. Which was me. I was spooked. Okay, so now it's like nighttime, but I already killed all the creatures. Oh, maybe I didn't. Hello. Hello there. Goodbye. Um, oh, maybe there's just some lurking about during the nighttime as well. That could definitely be a possibility. Would it be really cool is if like maybe the insides of the caves come out, and I'll be able to go in a little bit safer at night, but at the risk of obviously fighting the stuff outside of the cave. That would be cool. We got a few levels here. Um, I still have two skill points to go up in. More armor. Oh, what the... What was that? Oh, more are spawning. Oh my god, okay. I did... Okay, I didn't expect more to spawn. Alright, well, we have to go to war all night. I thought... I thought we'd be big chillin'. We are not. We are not big chillin'. At all. The nighttime does go by a little quicker, though, as you can tell. It's almost 4 a.m. already. Um, I wonder if maybe if I start building, they'll lose their spawn points and they'll have to come from the outside, maybe? Alright, here we go. We're gonna go for big swing. Uh, 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 dodge roll. Nice, okay. And big swing. And there we go. Dodge roll. Ow. My stamina is still so bad. Oh, and they just keep spawning, huh? Well, we're getting a bunch of those stones, and we can see what putting them in the summoning altar does. There we go. My little fairy doing the sweeping attacks is kind of fun. It'd be cool if I could, like, upgrade my fairy's damage or, like, throw it out, you know what I mean? And make it so it, like, catches things on fire, like Buffet or something. That'd be a really cool addition. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna keep kiting into circles. Kind of feels like COD zombies kiting a little bit. But I'm so much stronger. Ugh.
All right, the sun should be coming up now. Ugh. It should be. Keyword should. There it is. Sun is up and they just burst into flames just like that. <sighs> okay. Wow. That was wild. Um, there's an option to sleep in the game. I wonder, like, can you sleep past that? I wouldn't, personally. Oh, they broke my little stick trap. Oh, that stinks. I wouldn't personally sleep past it, because that's like a fun mechanic of the game. That'd be like being able to sleep in seven days to die on Horde Night. It's like, why would you do that? Um, but like I said, we have a ton of these stone pieces now. Can we craft? I, I thought I saw stone crafting in here. Yeah, Cthulhu stone right here. Boop, boop, bop. So that puts us at how many of the Cthulhu stones? Purified Cthulhu stone. What do we do with that? Pollution level is reduced when you use it. HP and thirst constantly restored. To use the item on the hotbar. Okay, well let's go to the altar real quick and double check on what we needed to do with that. Because I have 10 stones. I don't know if it has to be 10 of the same kind though. Ooh, look at the sun rays coming over the ocean. Holy crap. This game is gorgeous. Um, yep, right here, the altar. Oh, and it respawned. Yoink. And then, back to with all of you, you need 10 stone of Cthulhu's. That's a Cthulhu stone and a purified Cthulhu stone. I don't know. Maybe it's the one I just picked up. Maybe it's 10 of these guys. And then something will happen. Maybe it'll level me up or give me a permanent buff. I don't know. But thank you guys for hanging out with me on day one, if sun sets. If you want to see more, I'd like to play more. But what's a kind of a, kind of up to you guys? Hit the like button, subscribe, and new here, notification icon. Make sure it's set to always. Thank you so much. Um, I'm looking forward to exploring this game more if you want to see more. Because it's pretty. The combat's fun. There's a lot more crafting. A lot more exploring to do. And obviously, a lot more map to kind of run around with on this beta. Which is awesome. Forced of wisdom. Historical sites. A castle. And a question mark? Don't mind if I do.